here from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing and today I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of a history talk and uh, doing a bit of magnet fishing uh, in Chesterfield as well. So I uh, hope everyone's doing okay and thank you for joining and um, yeah so the history talk I'm going to do is about magnet fishing. So yeah, magnet fishing um, started off as far back as the 15th century according to the internet sources and uh, it started out in, in Germany, Austria and um, into southern France as well and uh, the reason that started was because wealthy gentlemen of the time used to go to ponds on various uh, manor estates and they used to throw magnets to see what was in there. Now these were not the magnets that we know today. Uh, they were very simply magnets made of rods with lodestone on which was a natural magnetic material. Now these primitive forms of magnet fishing did find a number of items and some of those can be seen in various museums in Germany and Vienna and uh, they were quite successful for the day and they used to hold competitions. Now moving on to the 1600s people used to use magnets on the old manor ponds where the abbeys used to be because the talk was that when King Henry VIII had the dissolution of the monasteries the water was the only place that things could be hidden um, to stop the king from taking them and his armies uh, and again it became very popular um, lots and lots of people across Europe was actually starting to find things uh, in northern France uh, it continued in Germany, Austria moved into Hungary and then became popular in Britain as well around 1630 but that was very short lived and only lasted a couple of years and then uh, back in the 18th century in Britain it became very popular again with the first archaeologists who were using uh, magnetite and lodestone to treasure hunt uh, and make uh, needles on compasses magnetic uh, to show a north-south uh, bearing. Now moving on to more recent times um, 1800s, about 1890, people started doing it to basically look for lost tools that had fell out overboard on boats and things. Now they were using very primitive magnets at the time as well but at this time they're starting to look a bit more like a normal magnet would use as in the horseshoe magnets very weak but they did the job they did recover tools that had fallen overboard and then we, we move on to the 1970s 1980s and uh, people start using magnets called sea searcher magnets and these would have been uh, available from treasure hunter and searcher magazine and uh, they were sold in the UK and in USA and also in Europe and uh, they were very popular items but then in 1980 people moved on to this form of magnet which was speaker magnets and I too used one of these uh, back in 2012 and very primitive grapple hooks like this one and uh, a simple hook like that would have been used 
from the 1600s onwards to bring things out of the water. So I've just had a local member of public come across and have a chat with me and uh, going to check my channel and also uh, subscribe and that person with the husband is also going to come and try magnet fishing here in Chesterfield. Right okay so I'm looking at the water level um, it's fast flowing it's mediocre but it's fairly low so I'm gonna get on and uh, do a bit more magnet fishing so it's somebody's birthday today and uh, I'm gonna say happy birthday to Rebecca Hallam hope you have a good one from Lee Magnetic North magnet fishing make it a good special day And on this one, we've got a lot more magnetic sediment and this bit of iron encrusted piece here, which is nothing, it's just a bit of furnace metal and lots of magnetic silt, magnetic rock. Next Sunday, there's going to be a special video uh, and we're going to be having a collab. So there's people from Derbyshire, South Yorkshire, West Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire. Uh, all confirmed. So there's going to be between 10 and 12 of us there. And um, scrappers have been booked already. So that should be a very interesting day out there so Ben looking forward to that one nice and early let's uh, do it make it a success and uh, I will be displaying my banner as well out there for the members of the public so on this one I just got a bit of wire a spike Not sure what that is, probably... No, don't know on that one. Nail. And lots of magnetic debris. So, Kratos Magnetics USA. I am affiliated with those. There is shipping costs and import fees, but they are excellent magnets. And uh, Benjamin will be happy to help anybody with any information that they require. And if you wish to have a, a bit of a discount of 12% on any product, if you put in the code OI CUTS uh, when you order, that will give you 12% discount uh, on all products. Uh, I myself will be ordering Kratos brands very, very soon. So on this one, I've just got something other than magnetic rock and silt. So I've got a hook, a bolt that's encrusted it in iron waste, bit of a nail, A washer and the usual magnetic rock and silt there. So I'm thinking I'm going to be getting the Titan magnet from Kratos uh, and I'm also thinking I might even get some Kratos merchandise um, and do those when I do another giveaway in the future and on this one I just got a bit of a nail or what wire encased metal 
The shard of, of metal, it is jagged, it is sharp. That could well be bomb shrapnel, World War II, but that's come out of the silt. And magnetic silt. Just on that one, magnetic furnace waste, small bits of plate metal, magnetic rocks, and a bolt, and uh, lots of general scraps. Oh, and just on this one, I've just got. A cross of some sort, unusual, don't know what it is, but that's cool. And uh, lots of nails and magnetic rust. And on this one, I've just got another hook, an old tent peg. Just there. Nail. Piece of shrapnel. And lots of magnetic shards. There is a lot of heavy bits just there. And I now feel that because there has been a lot removed from this site over a number of uh, different visits from myself and other people, it's only the bigger, heavier stuff that's in there on that edge and in the middle. There is smalls, but there's also a lot of magnetic debris at this site. And on that one, just some nails, various size nails and magnetic scraps. So if you look on the other side, uh, near the water level and the embankment over there, there is items emerging. They all quite heavy and currently I'm using an Evo 60 magnet 600 strength pull and it's just not enough to grab the items from the silt oh on this one got quite a bit so on that one we just got a bolt Got a piece of shrapnel, some cloth which I'm happy to have removed, a weight or ingot, just there, bolts, larger bridge bolts, just there, nails. And bolts, lots of magnetic scraps. So I can see my magnet is sliding on something over there. Oi, it wasn't having it. Yep, there's something on here. So on that one, big ding ding. There we go, check out Adventures with Sonic. Ding ding. Some metal turnings. Magnetic rock and general silt and scraps. And on that one we've just got Bits of plate metal, 
part of a, a drill finishing grinder lots of magnetic bits magnetic rock let's try over there so I'll say time and time again keep using the bigger magnets on the rivers you need to pack a punch in the bottom of the silt and hold the items that you actually catch so on this one I've got magnetic bits which will be clean they could be shrapnel plate metal furnace waste scraps and shards And on this one, we've just had more magnetic bolts. Various bits of metal. It is trying to hold the items, but it's just not able to. There's something on and it is bolts, nuts, bits of a nail. General plate metal. No I'm not. I just stood on my rope and uh, banked it. Shall we try that one again? So on that one, I managed to score a bit of bonus plastic. Again, always happy to have that out. Piece of magnetic cast. And lots and lots of broken down shards. And on that one, we've just got bolts, plate metal, magnetic rocks, a few little bits coming in on this one. Okay, so on that one, there's a, there's a screw there. big round bolt section piece of a hinge magnetic rock a nut a nail and on that one just lots of magnetic furnace waste and a bit of plate metal. So just on that one, this big piece, which I assume was part of a bolt. Nails. And on this one, got more bolt bits. Bits of plate metal, magnetic rock, nails, bolts, mushroom bolts, just there, uh, lots of magnetic sediment. And just on that one, we've just got magnetic rocks sediment a nail there's something trying to move here so 
so I'm going to have to move a bit. So when you do get something heavy, get as much rope out of the water and that should enable to get a better grip and you're not getting dragged from the rope that can cause the item to pull off. I think I've just lost it. No, it's still there. I think that's out the silt now. So try and get that in. Yep, I've got that. So on this one, we've just got something big. Yep. So bits of, of plate metal, but on that, we've just got this piece here, which is old framework from a bridge. And this is why it was getting stuck in the silt. And you've got old pieces of glass on there. Again, happy that they're out, they're going to go in the bin. And that this is where there's a bolt here as well. Yes, something larger and magnetic rocks. Oh, I'm happy. More stuff out, uh, out the river, the better. And just on this one, big piece of, of magnetic rock and a, a nut. So I'm going to keep cleaning this section. Um, I might get quite a few of the same items, but at least it's doing the job of cleaning the actual river. So on that one, I just got plate metal there, magnetic rock, a heavy piece of furnace waste, and lots of little shards and bits of plate metal. Just a bit more plastic, some plate iron, bolts. Well, well folks, you're not actually going to believe this, but uh, I was just throwing out and uh, a strong gale force wind blew and uh, unfortunately, I managed to tree it on land at the side of me there so I'll just show you what's happened it's embarrassing but it's magnet fishing it happens so casting out when the strong gust blew and uh, I'm tied off over there I was aiming out there and um, I've ended up here at the side of me Right up there, look, over that particular branch. And there it is, just hanging there like that. Hey dear, not good. <laughs> See the funny side of it. So on that cast, I've just got this out. And uh, it's a huge piece of blast shrapnel from World War II. Look how jagged that is. So I've had some more casts and uh, I've got general scrap, bolts, nuts, barbed wire, nails, magnetic rock, lots of broken debris, but uh, it's out the water, that's the main thing and I am rather tired so I'm going to pack up and call it a day. So I'll just show you the area. So this is where I've been fishing near this bridge. All scraps removed and uh, all packed up ready to go. Well that's it for another day and uh, this is Lee from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment as well. I do love to hear what you think of certain days and events but yeah I'm tired so it's time to go. Bye for now everyone.